Hey guys, I'm Dr. Matt Shelley with Go Cairo, and we're going to work on a hollow hold position, basically neutralizing the lower back spine. And one of the biggest things that I find that clients have, patients have, CrossFitters have, is a real deep lower back curve or just a weakness to the core. Not that they are weak, just that core weakness when we're doing certain movements. So the hollow rock or the hollow hold or the hollowing out when you're in a, a kip movement is probably the easiest way to fix it, which is also kind of what finds it in the gym. So we have Deanne here. She's going to help us out. Uh, go ahead and get into a hollowed position for me. So we all can see how her, her goal is to maintain one C-shaped curve, neck, mid back, and then lower back. And maintain, like I can't slide my hand under her lower back. But a lot of people struggle and they fail. So go ahead and relax there. And they'll maintain where they think that they're still hollowed because they're, they're upright in that position, but they still don't have a neutral spine. She's lost that curve. So one way to fix it, which makes it very simple and very easy for you as the patient, you as the crossfitter, go ahead and bring your arms up. So get here locked out, kind of a hand right over the nose, right over the chin. She's still gonna point her toes that direction, and I'm gonna resist, and she's gonna engage. As she engages here, the brain activity creates a whole general motion to lock everything in. She'll be a little stronger and be able to hold that longer. Okay, so then go ahead and engage here. She'll maintain core. It'll be easier for her. At the same time as she's engaging this, she's getting that core stability, and this is telling her brain, this is where my low back needs to be when I'm doing other movements. Okay, go ahead and relax. So if you're doing a you know, push uh, press, push jerk, and on the way down, it's hard for you to understand, well, how do I hold, how do I engage? If we're doing the kettlebell swing and the weight's swinging you around, we, we can't neutralize this and keep ourselves in line. This is probably the best exercise to do. It's very simple, it doesn't take much time. If you don't have a, a person to resist you, get inside the rig in the gym, the more narrowed area, and you could just use each side and just use two hands and engage that direction. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Matt Shelley.